Today is the day that I'm going to show you how to make the best queso you ever had in your life. Homemade. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to take it to the next level. Check it out. So first step, you're going to want to fire up your big old pan. Just on a low temperature. Next step, we're going to start out with a half stick of unsalted butter. All right, now our butter's melted. I got three tablespoons of all-purpose flour. I'm going to add that in. Remember, this is on a low temperature. You don't want this to burn. All right, it's literally only been 30 seconds, and we'll look at what our flour butter looks like. Now, we're gonna immediately add about one cup of heavy whipping cream. We can also go on and add our one little four ounce container of green chilies. Get that all mixed around. Now I have four cups of grated Mexican style cheese. Go on and add some more heavy cream. This is gonna take a while to melt, but what you don't wanna do is burn anything. So as that cheese starts to melt, now, we're gonna cut up our fontel. This is a 12 ounce piece. First thing I'm gonna do is cut off the hard pieces of the outside. This cheese is the best melting cheese you're ever gonna experience. So to help this melt quicker, the smaller the pieces you can cut it into, the quicker it's gonna melt. So we're gonna slice it really thin. All right, now we add all our fontel. Make sure to split up those pieces, not let everything stick together and let it keep cooking on a simmer. All right, it's probably been seven or eight minutes. Our cheese is done. We're gonna add a little flavor to it with the Danos new taco. That's the orange top. All right, let's get us one of these salted donkey chips. Let's give this a try. Mmm, oh, that's really good queso. Now let's take it to the next level. Let's move our cheese to the side and get you another pan out. And we're gonna cook us up one pound of chorizo. While your chorizo's starting to cook, get you one can of strained and drained black beans, and we're gonna throw them in the microwave. And you can always add some of the orange top to your chorizo while you're cooking. Our chorizo is ready, beans are ready. Get you one of these, and we're gonna mash them up. After the first pass of mashing them up, get that taco out. We're gonna sprinkle generously. We're gonna add a little bit of beef stock. All right, now let's throw this back in the microwave for another 30 seconds or so just to get it warmed up. All right, beans are heated up. You're gonna need you a little cast iron pan, just like this. Get you a giant scoop. Go right in the middle. Bring that queso back. Go right in over the top. And the last step, chorizo. And there you have it, folks. Dano's bean dip. Now let's give it a try. See if it's any good. We'll go in here, make sure you get some of the beans, some of the queso, definitely some of the chorizo. Mm, 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 mm. That is some of the best dip you're ever going to have in your life. I hope you guys give that a try. Remember, Dano's is seasoning the way it should be made. We can even give it another little dusting right here on top. Real sea salt. Oh, looks like I'm going to need another bottle. Go over to danoseasoning.com or Amazon. Yum, yum, get you some. Give it a try for yourself. Let us know what you think. We'll see you next time. Keep sprinkling, my friends.